What is up guys, Joe here with RedmanPie.com and we got some exciting news because the Chinese Taiji jailbreak team released a new jailbreak for iOS 8.3. Now if you are running iOS 8.1.3 or iOS 8.2, you too are able to jailbreak. Now the supported devices for the Taiji jailbreak tool version 2.0 is going to be the iPhone 4S, 5, 5S, 5C, 6, and 6 Plus along with the iPad Air 1 and 2, the iPad mini 1, 2, and 3, the iPad second generation, third generation, and fourth generation. And lastly, the iPod Touch fifth generation, which is the device that I'm gonna actually be jailbreaking in this video. Now, a couple things to take note of before we proceed with this video is the fact that this is Windows only right now, but there's gonna be a Mac version available soon. So for you Mac users, you'll be able to simply download the Taiji jailbreak tool version 2.0 on your Mac. But I'm actually a Mac user myself and I'm simply using Parallels Desktop, which is going to be a virtual machine software. So I'm running Windows 10 on Parallels Desktop, so you can still jailbreak on your Mac if you are running a virtual machine. All you got to do is install a new virtual machine on your desktop using an image file like an ISO file, or if you actually have the Windows CD, you can go ahead and install it. I actually just got the free system down here, Windows 10, and uh, that's how I'm using it right now, so I can simply jailbreak. But if you don't want to go through all that hassle if you are a Mac user, I'd say go ahead and wait for a Mac version, which should be available soon. There's no ETA for it, but I would assume that it's not too long before they release a Mac version of Taiji. And also another thing to take note of is iTunes. Now I'm actually running the version 12.0.1. As you see right here, if I go to about iTunes, I'm running iTunes 12.0.1. And that is because you may run into some errors when you are jailbreaking. So in order to avoid any type of issues, if you are running the latest version of iTunes, go ahead and downgrade. It's very simple to do. All you got to do is uninstall your current iTunes and then install iTunes 12.0.1. Now, if you need any type of help, we'll leave a link down below in the description of how to downgrade iTunes. It's very simple, like I mentioned, but be sure to have iTunes 12.0.1 installed on your machine. Now, another thing before we get started is back up your device. I can't stress that enough. Uh, in case something goes wrong, go ahead and back up your device either through your computer, using iTunes, or through iCloud. And also, I went ahead and did a fresh restore of iOS 8.3, as you can see here. And I'll show you right here. Go into Settings, go into General, go to About, and you will see that I have 8.3 right there. Now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and head over to taiji.com forward slash en, which is going to be the English version of the website. Now all we got to do is go ahead and download the Taiji jailbreak tool version 2.0.0 which is right down here in this big blue little box here. Go ahead and click on that and I already have mine installed. So now go ahead and open that up and you will notice that it will detect your device. So right here it says my iPod touch fifth generation. It's running iOS version 8.3 as I showed you right now. Now there are a couple additional steps to take before proceeding with the jailbreak and that is to turn off find my iPhone before the jailbreak of course. As always, go ahead and go into iCloud. And if you are signed in into your iCloud account, go ahead and turn off Find My iPhone. This will help speed up the process and avoid any type of additional errors. And also, if you have a passcode or if you have a Touch ID device, go ahead and turn off Touch ID and your passcode. So I already have mine turned off here, and now we're ready to go. Going back into the Taiji jailbreak tool, we're gonna have two checkboxes right here, Cydia, and we also have the 3K Assistant. Go ahead and uncheck this uh, 3k assistant. This is just other stuff that we more than likely will not want on our device. So just make sure that Cydia is checked. Once you have that done, we'll go ahead and hit start. Now hopefully everything runs smoothly for you guys, but if you do get stuck at the 20%, it is more than likely because you didn't have iTunes 12.0.1 installed. It's simply going to keep rebooting your device and trying to jailbreak and in the end you're just going to receive an error code. But if you did go ahead and downgrade to 12.0.1 on iTunes, then you should have no issues. It'll take a couple minutes to jailbreak, and once it is done, your device will restart, and then we'll get prompted the lock screen. So once Taiji says that it's fully jailbroken, you will notice that it now says jailbroken on Taiji on your computer. Now we can go ahead and go over to our device and slide to unlock, and we scroll over and now we see Cydia. You see the Cydia icon, go ahead and tap on that open it up, and then it's gonna prepare the file system. This is gonna take a little bit. Once everything is prepared, your device will restart once again. And now we can go ahead and slide to unlock our device one more time and go ahead and tap on Cydia. But that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. 
If you did enjoy it, go ahead and hit that like button to show us that you like the content and also it supports the channel. So hit that like button down below. Also go ahead and leave a comment down below if you're excited for this new iOS 8.3 jailbreak. And lastly, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when we come out with all of our latest videos. That way you won't miss them. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching and we'll catch you all on the next one.